You may be seated. <clears throat> Greetings and welcome to all of you who are friends, who are family, who are loved ones of Madison and Ryan. We're here for a most wonderful occasion. We're here to celebrate with you, Madison, celebrate with you, Ryan, celebrate the love you have found in and for each other, a love unlike any other love you've ever known, a love that's called your hearts, your minds, your souls, all that you are, to stand before God and all peoples and say, this is the one. This is the one I want to walk through life with. This is the one I want to stand beside, come what may. We're here to celebrate with you, Ryan and Madison, that you have found a love worthy of your trust, worthy of your time and energy on this planet, worthy indeed of life itself. And we, your friends, your family, your loved ones, are here to celebrate your wedding. We're here to cheer for you, Madison. We're going to say, yes, go live in this love, be in this love, delight in this love, Ryan. We are here to celebrate you. Now, the ceremony doesn't take that long, but it's like a pebble dropped in the pond of your lives. And what's about to happen right here in these next few moments will ripple out and touch everything else. From here on, every choice you make, every turn you take on this planet will one way or another be touched by this holy moment. And so we are each and all honored guests, privileged to be here and to share in this moment with the two of you. Annie Dillard in her book, Pilgrim at Tinker Creek, writes these words. I never knew I was a bell until I was lifted up and struck by love. And that's what we're celebrating today. And our prayer for you is that the resonance from that striking will ring deep and true and always. And so ask, who presents Madison to be married to Ryan? Her mother and I. Will you present her hand there, Rob? Thank you. Join your hands together. Will you put your hand on top of their hands there? And a father's blessing. All right, hugs and kisses all around. <laughs> Not you. All right, it's Asheville. <laughs> Take each other's worry. hands, right? <laughs> all right, so Ryan, Madison, you're about to be married. So take a good look at each other. A good, long and loving look. As you look at each other, be aware of how much you trust each other. Be aware of how much you believe in each other. Be aware of all the hopes and dreams that are right now swirling within you and between you. And I call on you, Madison, I call on you, Ryan, to treasure that trust. Treasure that belief you have in each other. Treasure those hopes and dreams. Allow nothing, allow nothing, no thing to denigrate or to diminish that trust. To take away those hopes and dreams. To in any way disregard that belief in each other. It is that trust, that belief, and the hopes and dreams that will see you through. And so... Ryan and Madison, I require and charge you both as you stand here in the presence of these who love you, as you stand truly in the presence of God, to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If love and loyalty are kept unviolated and if steadfastly you seek to live as you're created to live, then your lives will be filled with joy and the home which you are establishing will abide in peace. No other vows are more tender, Ryan, and no other ties more sacred, Madison than these you now assume. And so I ask you, Ryan, will you accept this woman, Madison, this woman whose hands you hold to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together? Oh, there's more to the question. There's more. I'm ready. This is an eager man. <laughs> to live in a loving relationship, will you trust her? Will you honor her? Will you keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep yourself, your whole self, your heart, your mind, your body faithful to her so long as the two of you live. If you will, Ryan, say clearly, I will. I will. <laughs> and Madison, will you accept this man, Ryan, this man whose hands you hold, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in a loving union? Will you love him? Will you comfort him? Will you honor him, Madison? Will you keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep yourself, your whole self, faithful to him so long as the two of you live. If you will, say clearly, I will. I will. Yes. And so we come now to the portion of the ceremony where it said the union happens. Now, Madison, Ryan, you've been in love for a while. You've experienced love twists and turns, its ups and downs, and that will continue. But it's said in the ancient tradition of marriage that when you say your vows, when you give and receive rings, something happens that has not happened before. It's said that your hearts begin to dance together in a new way. Your souls intertwine in a way you just haven't yet known. Here's where the pebble is dropped and the ripples begin. Here's where the bell is sounded. Here's where deep, holy, magic happens. And so with that in mind, Ryan, as you hold Madison's hands, I ask you to look into her eyes 
and knowing that you're looking into the windows of her soul, I ask you to say these words, repeating after me. I, Ryan, take you, Madison. I, Ryan, take you, Madison. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. And to love and to cherish. As long as we two shall live. As long as we two shall live. As long as we two shall live. Here and now, I pledge you my faith. Here and now, I pledge you my faith. Moment of silence. Let these vows sink in and the magic begin. Madison, as you hold Ryan's hands, I ask you to look into his eyes. And knowing that you're looking into the windows of his soul, I ask you to say these words repeating after me. I, Madison, take you, Ryan. I, Madison, take you, Ryan. To be my wedded husband. To me, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we two shall live. As long as we two shall live. Here and now, I pledge you my faith. Here and now, I pledge you my faith. A moment of silence. So Ryan and Madison, I remind you that the circle is the most ancient sacred symbol of our species. It's found in all traditions, all cultures, all religions. The circle has always been a reminder to us and our ancestors of that which has no beginning and has no end. The eternal, the infinite, truth, beauty, justice, love, the divine, life itself. And I tell you this as a way of reminding you that what you're giving each other here is not just jewelry. And nor is it simply a sign to others that you're taken. It's much more than that. And it's a reminder to you, Ryan, to you, Madison, that this love you share throws open the door to the infinite. This love you share opens the door to that which has no beginning and has no end. It opens the door to truth beyond all telling. This love you share opens the door to beauty beyond your wildest imaginings. This love you share opens the door to God, to all that is holy, and to life itself. And so, I encourage you to use these as they're meant to be used as sacred reminders. I encourage you to give them a twist on a daily basis, just to keep your priorities straight, just to remind yourselves what is of infinite value and what's here today and gone tomorrow. And so with that in mind, take this ring, if you will. Ryan, put it on Madison's third finger, left hand. Right over that nervous knuckle. There we go, good, all right. You want to put that one on too, put the engagement ring back on. The wedding ring is traditionally worn closest to the heart, and that's what we're doing here. <laughs> there we go. All right, hold it in place, Ryan. Look into her eyes and say these words. With this ring, Madison. With this ring, Madison. Now in the presence of these who love us. Now in the presence of these who love us. Now in the presence of God. Now in the presence of God. I marry you. I marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Take this ring, Madison. Put it on Ryan's third finger, left hand. That shaking left hand. <laughs> All the way up. We want him good and married. That's good. All right. <laughs> Hold it in place. Look into his eyes and say these words. With this ring, Ryan. With this ring, Ryan. Now in the presence of these who love us. Now in the presence of these who love us. Now in the presence of God. Now in the presence of God. I marry you. I marry you. Take each other's hands and hold them tight. So <clears throat> Ryan and Madison have chosen to symbolize their union with a mixing of sand and with a presentation of roses to their moms. And so I ask you if you'll come on over, take the roses, Present them to their moms, your moms. <laughs> I don't see a funnel. Is there a funnel? There was a funnel once. There was a funnel once? You can make it work. You can make it work? All right. <laughs> this is going to be a test here. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what Ryan and Madison are going to do is pour this sand together. There are two different sands. Now, once the sand is mixed, it can never be taken apart again. 
it can never be separated again. And so, very carefully, we're going to see if we can um, get that. I don't see the funnel. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Learning to work together. That's what's happening there here. There was a funnel. Mm -hmm. right. There was a funnel here. Mm -hmm. We'll find it probably we'll after find this. It. Exactly. This is actually working. It's working. You getting it there? This is really cool. Look at it is so it's cool. layered in a really, yeah. really interesting wow. pattern. I got to see the pattern. It's really cool. It's really oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Throw it over my shoulder, I guess. Right? I guess. Muzzle so, top. Muzzle top. Exactly. <laughs> For good luck. Yeah. Oh. Look. That is so. Close. Oh, that's very beautiful. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know, I have to show it to the folks. I don't know if you can see it. Come on back that here and take really hands again and. Did you see what the, the beautiful pattern beautiful. that they're they're it's a symbol of the lives together, their lives together. Very lovely, very lovely. Without a funnel. Without a funnel. Yes, so, that was me. <laughs> so we have all heard Ryan and Madison make their vows to each other. We've heard it loud and clear. Now I'm gonna ask you to take a vow. I'm going to ask you to make a pledge. You're here for one reason and one reason alone. You're here because you're important in the lives <clears throat> of Madison and Ryan. None of us would be here otherwise. So I'm going to ask you to pledge to do more than simply show up and eat their cake. I'm going to ask you to pledge your support. You're here because they love you. Are you aware of that? They love you. They trust you. They want you here for this holy moment. You've come because you want the best for them. So I'm going to ask you to pledge your support to Madison and Ryan to enable their marriage to be as rich and abundant as it can possibly be. Now, how can you support these two? Well, both Madison and Ryan have made it quite clear that they will accept cash. So, <laughs> so and that's an excellent start. But you can do more. You can be a listening ear, a shoulder to cry on, someone to mm -hmm. dance with them in their triumph, someone to weep with them in their failures. They're gonna have plenty of both, you know. So, if you, the ones they loved and trusted, enough to invite to this holy moment, if you will pledge your support to these two good people, I ask you to say loud and clear so they may hear, we will. We will. You are surrounded by support. So I invite you to begin your support here and now with a moment of silence and then silence. In this silence, offer a silent prayer, a silent wish, a silent hope, a silent blessing. I invite you to surround these two people you love with your love. Let's be in the silence together. Lead them in the dance of love, Holy One. Lead them in the dance of love. You whose name is love, lead them in the dance as they never thought it possible to dance it before. Lead them in all the many steps of love, the wild kick up your heels steps, the slow and mournful steps, the day-to-day -day steps. Lead them in the dance of love and help them know beyond the shadow of a doubt that love can transcend all. Hear our wishes, our hopes, our prayers, we pray, now and always. Amen. And so, Ryan and Madison, you have come before us on this absolutely spectacular autumn day that have made it quite clear you want to be together in this life. You've made it ever so clear with your exchange of vows, with your giving and receiving of rings, and by the obvious delight you feel in each other's presence. I have heard your vows. I've seen you give and receive rings, and I have sensed that delight. And so, therefore, by the authority vested in me, by this state of North Carolina, and by the Jubilee community, I now pronounce that you are married. You are wife, Madison. You are husband, Ryan. May God bless you in this union, bless you with a love you never thought possible. Bless you with the wonder you find daily in each other's eyes and arms. Bless you with forgiveness. Bless you with patience. And bless you with the peace that only love can bring. And remember, you gotta give a little, take a little, and let your poor hearts break a little. And that's the story of and that's the glory of love. The pebble is dropped. The bell is sounded. You are married. God bless you. You may kiss. Yay. Yay. I present to you Madison and Ryan, a new family.